Okay, so we are familiar with momentum. Okay, but now in this section we're going to look at something called angular momentum. All right. So, uh, say now we have uh, a puck with inertia m, and it's moving with a velocity v. Okay, or a constant speed v, and it's moving in a circular motion. Then the kinetic energy is this, right? K equals half mv squared. And uh, nothing new there. But um, if we substitute, remember that, remember that the relationship between v and omega was this. v equals r omega. Do you remember that? So if we substitute r omega into here, right, we substitute it in there. We get this term over here, half mr squared omega squared. And this term over here, this mr squared, is what we call rotational inertia for a particle. Okay? And um, this then is given by the, the symbol i. And if we substitute that back in there, we get rotational kinetic energy is half i omega squared. Now you can see how this is similar to translational kinetic energy half mv squared. Okay, so the in, in, in a rotational sense i is the rotational inertia. In the translational sense m is your inertia and of course omega is rotational velocity. Okay, what is rotational inertia? We've spoken about it before. It is, um, it opposes a change in rotational motion. It is inertia. It is the resistance to change, right? So rotational inertia about an axis opposes a change in rotational motion about that axis. All right? Okay. Um, okay, I think that's good for now. I'll see you in the next one.